Hello fellow YouTubers, this is N0AGI. I'm uh, here to do a short video about the new duplexer I just got today for my second uh, DMR repeater site. The repeater site is yet to be uh, decided, but I just got this uh, commercial grade duplexer from uh, RFI Imaging and uh, still haven't opened the box yet and it came in FedEx today and uh, it's a six cavity 100 dB isolation commercial grade Sinclair duplexer that I'm planning on using for my second site um, or DMR repeater site and uh, We'll get this opened up and see how she looks like on the inside. So I bought this from the RFI imaging company by a gentleman by name uh, Paul M. Zeppa on eBay and that's his contact info. So here's the duplexer fully opened up. It's fairly a big box and quite heavy also. And I don't see any major damage although I do see a ding here and a ding there and and I do see a couple of dings here um, here's the pass through for the coax into the duplexer and that's the high pass for the receive for the duplexer and the transmit from the duplexer. Here's the back side of the duplexer and so here's the the view of the cans from the back here. I took the the panel out and uh, those are the six cavities and uh, seems like uh, these are really well made I mean I've looked at them in the pictures and such but I never really looked at them you know face to face so I believe these are RG 214s is what I was told I gotta double check that but uh, Anyway, so there they are. Um, there are six of them. I think there might be enough room to put in the repeater in there in a one one stop shop sort of a box and uh, secure the repeater somewhere at the bottom there. I think that might still work. We'll see. Hello fellow YouTubers and uh, DMR enthusiasts. Uh, this is a quick short video about my the DMR repeater number two. Uh, number one, she's in uh, Faribault. The Faribault site uh, about 50 miles south of uh, Minneapolis. 
the Twin Cities area in about 30 miles, 35 miles approximately from uh, the Prior Lake, I would say, maybe close to 30 miles south of Prior Lake. Uh, so that's that was number one and uh, here is the number two uh, DMR repeater uh, set up uh, from N0 AGI a call sign and uh, so I went with the same repeater uh, as I did with our first uh, repeater uh, in Ferribolt. This is also a an SLR 5700 uh, repeater by Motorola. Uh, I was really impressed with the first purchase uh, and also the just the quality of the product is really really good. Uh, it's I would say for lack of a better term I have a fairly straightforward plug and play easy to program and uh, manage and whatnot so uh, Motorola obviously they've done a pretty good job at uh, the software and the hardware and uh, anyway so that's that so the the repeater number two N0 AGI repeater number two will also uh, be connected to the W2XAB uh, network the K4 USD uh, DMR network um, once uh, she's up on the air um, and the bottom one here is a a uh, big hunk of metal uh, commercial duplexer I bought new uh, from a good seller on eBay. Uh, we had him uh, do, we had him uh, tune this duplexer to my frequency, uh, the 443-125 uh, um, and, uh, and plus, uh, of course, 448-125. So it's made by Sinclair. It's a six cavity uh, band reject band pass. Um, duplexer or bandpass band reject duplexer uh, with uh, six cavities in that box. Uh, she's about I would say close to 80, 85 pounds and uh, she's currently riding on this dolly here um, but um, she's here in my shack right now. I'm gonna put her up on the air in the Prior Lake uh, the lab I call it nowadays because I do a lot of experimenting here before I put stuff up on the air uh, in uh, for production, quote-unquote production. So she's here in my lab. I will be doing some uh, configuration and testing of the repeater here um, and uh, basically hooking up the duplexer with the repeater and then uh, hooking it up to one of my uh, antennas up on the tower and give her a quick spin and see how she shakes and uh, we'll be right back and uh, we'll with some with some over-the-air demonstration of how she's performing uh, what I'm curious about is uh, how good the tuning was performed on my duplexer here so that's more important than uh, probably the first things that I need to double check before we go full-blown uh, full power on the air. I want to make sure that we are uh, good with the tuning. So anyways, uh, that's a quick uh, view. I'll be right back. N0 AGI. So just a quick uh, view here. Just plugged in my the RG142 cables, the coaxes into the repeater. Again, this is just a quick uh, lab test environment for me before she goes up on the air uh, in production. Uh, so she's connected up to my PC for programming and uh, just a quick view of that. I will be plugging in my antenna onto here and doing a quick test right now and uh, I'll have to now call uh, W2XAB John Birmingham and uh, get this puppy on the air on his network N0 AGI. Okay, so the repeater, she's up and running in the lab here. Uh, the duplexer seems to have been tuned uh, quite okay. 
and I guess I don't have a a proper way to test the uh, the tuning on the duplexer quite yet so but I was able to test it with my radios and seems to be working fine uh, I still have to test it with some traffic around me and desensing and things of that nature I need to do that later but anyway so it looks like the repeater is up and running this is a repeater number two um, currently listed in the um, the network in the sea bridge as uh, Prior Lake. Uh, let me key in quick under a, a different uh, um, channel here. One second. So I have it keyed up on uh, the Parrot channel, and I'm gonna key in, and uh, you will see my repeater show up as Prior Lake in my lab here. N0 AGI testing with Parrot, N0 AGI, 1, 2, 3. N0 AGI testing with Parrot, N0 AGI, 1, 2, 3. So that's a quick test. Seems to be working well. And uh, I will let her run for a week or so here in the lab, do some monitoring and testing before she goes on the air. Uh, but right now she's on my tower outside, uh, like with my previous repeater, the repeater number one. So uh, I'll keep you posted. This is N0AGI. Thanks for watching.